All right, what up guys? It's Plock the Master Gamer here and today we're playing some Fable the Lost Chapters and in today's video, whoa easy there, we're not going to be killing no guild master today, but in today's video I'm going to be testing something that somebody had mentioned in the comments a while back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find his comment or not. I will put it here if I do, but it was in relation to the infinite strength exploit or whatever where you go into Bowerstone Quay and you punch the bald guy a bunch of times, right? So apparently there's a way of doing that where you don't necessarily have to you know, do the quest or like mess with that guy at all. Apparently you can do it with pretty much anybody in Bowerstone. And then one other thing I want to show you guys is that my my personality is, you know, it's, it's pretty neutral. I'm more on the good side and you're going to want to be more on the good side because to make this work, you're going to have to be able to get people to follow you, which if you are too scary and evil, people just will not follow you. And you're also going to need at least some amount of renown because they're not just going to follow a nobody. So you want to have at least like some amount of renown and like be at least neutral and possibly leaning towards the good side. I think you can get people to follow you either way. It's just much harder to get people to follow you if you're not like, you know, more on the good side and like at least a little renowned. I think the more renown you have, the more evil you could probably be and still get people to follow you. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Another thing, you're going to want to probably put some clothes on. So we'll do that, too once we get to the Bowerstone South. Now, on the topic of clothing, your clothing choice is actually gonna make a difference here because different clothing has different like scariness and attractiveness values. Again, if you're a good enough disposition or well-renowned enough person, it's not gonna matter as much for you, but if you are more evil and scary, you're probably gonna wanna make up for it a little bit with your clothing and your hairstyle and your tattoos. That'll just make people more likely to follow you. And also keep in mind, once you start doing this, people are probably gonna be less likely to follow you because you're gonna be, you know, kind of beating the shit out of them. So yeah, don't go wearing your bandit outfits because eventually that's not really gonna work out too well. So we'll just do, so I guess we'll just do that for now, although, a good example would be pretty much any bright clothing here. So let, let, let's just get some, some bright clothing real quick, just for the sake of the video. So it looks like we're just going to kind of wear what we're wearing. It's not going to matter too much for us anyway. So l l let's just do this, you know. So basically, if you've ever, like, tried to beat the shit out of anybody in Bowerstone, you've probably quickly found out that... You can't really kill people. You can't kill Bowerstonians, at least not within the Bowerstone uh, city limits, which I think it, it has something to do with, like, the same coding that revolves around them taking your weapons. Like, I don't know how exactly they have this town coded, but it seems like any citizen within this town is pretty much invincible to any attacks that aren't, like, weapon attacks. And so their solution to that is to just take your weapons from you when you go to this town or something. I don't know. Because if you're in Bowerstone or even Bowerstone Quay over here, uh, you cannot kill any NPCs, whether they're actual, you know, citizens or, or villagers or whatever, or, you know, whether or not they're that guy there. It doesn't matter. You can't kill them. However, if you do have bodyguards who do have weapons and you get them to attack the villagers, they actually can kill the villagers. And I have done that before. So that is a thing. Uh, but the main thing you need to know is that it doesn't matter who it is, you can punch the shit out of anybody all day long, and it uh, it just will not register. So you may be thinking, like, oh, why don't you just, you know, fucking start beating the shit out of anybody anytime? And that's because, well, you have these things here called guards, and they will pretty quickly fucking either kill you or kick you out of town. And you don't get even your protect spells here, so you definitely, definitely don't want to get into a tussle with the guards, because that is a fight you're not going to win, because they are also invincible to your attacks. Yes, you cannot kill guards with your fists when you are in the Bowerstone city limits. Somebody might want to fact check me on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the same goes for them as anybody else. So anyways, enough rambling. I've prefaced the fuck out of this video quite enough. Let's see if we can get somebody to follow me. All right. So that's not too bad. We got them to follow us. And we're going to get them to follow us into Bowerstone Quay. You have them follow you outside of the Bowerstone, like, actual town gates to the point where you can actually pull out your weapon. Yes, you can kill Bowerstonians that way as well. So anyways, um, this person said that the best way to do it is to go, like, between the, like, witch's house and something. So I guess we'll probably just go, like, here, back them into... Oh, that's probably it right here. Back them into this corner. And then just, yep, fucking wail on the guy. And so, yeah, there's no, uh, 
There's no guards over here or anything, so we should pretty much be able to do this indefinitely. Although I have already noticed that the, uh, what do you call it, has already stopped ticking. I don't know what causes that, by the way, but there's definitely some... Oh, here we go. We can just do this. I think this is the way to do it, possibly. I think he did say to flourish him and get him on the ground. And this, I think, negates the resetting of your combat multiplier. Because if you notice there, while I was punching him, the combat multiplier stopped about halfway through the one. And uh, now that I'm kicking him on the floor, it's not really doing that. So that's that's pretty nice. And of course, you could you could speed this up quite a bit if you had cheat engine. You could just use the speed hacks. You know, set the game to two times, four times, five times game speed. However fast you want to do this. Um, but I think I think the main point here is that you don't need cheat engine. It's you know if you if you had cheat engine, like why the fuck would you be doing this and not just changing the game value? So this is more for like people that want to cheat in a game organically without using any like third party softwares or altering any game files or whatever. Like this is something you could do on the Xbox version. This is something you could do on the anniversary version. You could do it with or without cheat engine. Whether or not it's a computer or an Xbox version of the game, you should be able to do it. Oops, and I did kind of slip up there a little bit, so, whoops, try to, it is, you got to get the positioning just right, though, you really do, I'm not even going to lie, I'm sure there's a better way to get it, but <clears throat> it seems to work pretty well, um, but yeah, this is, this is pretty much it, if you've seen, you know, the other two videos that I made, because now this is like the third infinite strength experience video <laughs> that I'm making, um, but yeah, if you saw the other two videos, like this is pretty much it. You just sit there and kick them. Like I don't really see the point in me sitting here for 10 minutes and showing you, hey guys, look at you can get experience from this. I think it's pretty evident at this point that uh, that timer is just going to keep going or that uh, counter is going to keep going and uh, that experience is just going to keep on ticking. So anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I kind of just wanted to test this out and then also show you guys the results of this. So yeah, you can just take any old citizen from Bowerstone and have him follow you out into Bowerstone Quay, and you can just have at it. You can have your way with him for as long as you want. Again, you gotta be careful because you are gonna get those evil points, and then eventually you are gonna be a little bit too scary for people to wanna follow you outside of town. They're gonna be like, hey, that's that guy that uh, beats the shit out of fucking everybody that he has follow around, so maybe I shouldn't follow him around. Anyways, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. It definitely helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content or any of my other gaming content for that matter. Yeah, with that being said, this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable of the Lost chapters, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Get the fucking piece of fucking shit.